Hey guys, it's Jimmy Bojangles, and surprisingly enough, I'm actually going to upload another video about Commander Kane, and this time without horrible audio issues, hopefully. I did a couple test recordings, and they all sounded great. So let's get going on, what does that call? The Regulation Control Center. I can't remember if this is the one I said I was going to do or not, but... Well, get ready to see me die. And again, I just got a new computer, so if everything looks different, that's why. I run through computers. So fucking somebody spilled a Rockstar Vodka on my computer. My last computer, the first day I had it out of the box, worked fine for about six months, and then it exploded. So that's what, uh, what I have to deal with. But uh, thankfully, this computer has a lot better microphone built into it, and I'm way too lazy to go buy... Lazy and broke to go buy a new, uh actual headset. Normally I just go with one of those $30, $30 Realtek headsets that sound re really good for the price, but, um, you know, wife and baby make things a little bit harder to afford. So yeah, but anyway, enough of my life. Let's go on with some Commander Keen. As you can see here, we're in another one of those, uh, stupid machine guardy pieces of shit that, uh, Stop us from using the elevator shaft to the main, or the, to the blah, 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 to the last two levels. And that's what's through that, by the way, the last two levels. There's, well, actually, there's a secret level, too, that, oops, missed that key. Sharp eyes, sharp eyes. Okay. No, the, um, there is a secret level, too, much, much less difficult than the secret level in Keen 4, in my opinion, but still... Uh, it's all based on climbing, and I'm not very good at climbing. Especially in this game, I have this bad habit of, uh, kind of guessing incorrectly as to how far I'll have to go in order to live, and that does not bode well for me. Make these little shit lickers, they're called Sparkies. Yeah, remember to this time, hells yeah. Whoa! Jesus Christ, Sparky's getting all up in my biznitch. Biznass. My Biznasty. It's my new rapper name, Biznasty. Yep, that's how it goes. I just rip off other rappers or other people. I don't even know. Don't make me come down there. I'm kind of sketched out. I know there's going to be something there. There's always something there. Let's go this way first. Yeah, there. There's our good old buddy Robo Red. What a bitch. What a stupid, slutty bitch. Um, Alright, so it looks like there's just a little lamp down there, which is nothing to worry about. Um, so you might be wondering... Oh, fuck, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, this is going to make this so much harder. Alright, let's do it. If I die here, no surprise to me whatsoever. Oh, what a jump! What a death! Oh, I knew it. That sucks. Okay, I'll meet you guys back there. See you in a few. Alright, guys, this time I'm going to go this way because it's a lot safer. Um, I kind of realized, like, right after I jumped down that I made a stupid, stupid mistake and I should just bypass that entirely. Oh my god, what a shot. Alright, let's just do it that way. Screw it. I have enough shots to shoot. Oh, well, one of those wasn't useful. That's nice. Now, what I'm afraid of in these green levels is that there's always shock shins at some point. I'm gonna just skip those point items. I don't need them. Whoa, whoa. Okay, okay, okay. Alright. Um, what? How the fuck do I already kill that? What else, keys? Let's, let's do this this way. Alright, let these are, um, I don't think we've actually seen these in play yet. These are Shikati. Oh no, we have. We've seen a Shikati. Let's drop those bitches. They grab poles, like homos, and send their stuff up the poles. Whoa, too close. Oh, damn it, Shikati mines. Okay, let's, let's see if we can't detonate some of these bitches beforehand. They're proximity mines, so if you get too close to them, oh, of course, they pop. I think we've seen them before, but as per usual, I can really never remember what I've done, especially when I haven't recorded, and Lord knows how long. Fucking explode, you piece of shit. And, uh, actually, those little fragments that they send off will kill you, so be very careful when blowing those up. 
Um, I guess when you're blowing up anything, really, it's good advice. I'm gonna wanna blow this punk up before he gets up here. But if that's not the case, then let's just bail. Alright, no worries there. Uh, let's keep going here. Um, shouldn't be too much of a problem. I don't remember what's down here, though. I think we're almost done the level, actually. TBCH. Oh, come on. We'll shoot through those. Oh, we are done the level. What the hell? I was so worried about that level, guys. I'm not going to lie. The next one's the one I'm most scared of, but there we go. We actually got another one of the four machines down, so that wasn't too bad. One death and one death on the way back because I'm retarded. So let's go on to the last thing. We're actually almost done this game. I'm just going to get the rest of this game into this video just so I can um, continue on with something else afterwards. Screw you! Oh. <laughs> oh, what mad dodge skills! Can't believe I made it out of that alive! Okay, there's shock shins over there, so I'm gonna fire a few hundred shots over there and hopefully kill something. Fucking hate shock shins. They shoot, and they jump, and they're horrible, horrible monsters. Take two hits to kill a shock shin. Surprised I still remember the name of those. Hate shellies, too. They suck. Anything that sends off fragments or does any kind of a ranged attack in these games are just horrendous to deal with. Like, it's one thing when stuff's like... Okay, alright, so I understand that I can't let the thing get up in my business. But then... When they start... And this is a DOS game, too, so there's no AI. There's, like, no AI. It's just, go towards Keen. Shoot. Whenever the fuck you feel like. Some games didn't even have cooldowns. Like, I remember fucking... You remember my... I don't know if you remember it, because I don't know if you've watched it, but my Jill of the Jungle Let's Play, there's demons towards the end of the... I think they're in every game. IIRC, they're in every game. They might not be in Jill of the Jungle, but I know they're in Jill Goes Underground and Jill Saves the Prince. And they just, like, ream out these long-ass blasts of crap that just never stop. And they can honestly fire off, like, 40 goddamn shots in a row. And believe me, 40 goddamn shots in a row is no fun whatsoever. Ugh. If I remember correctly, like, they can take... And the worst thing about Jill of the Jungle with that... I know I'm not even talking about the right game at this point, but... The worst part about Jill of the Jungle with that is that, um... You don't have any invincibility frames whatsoever in Jill of the Jungle. So if they shoot like 20 shots at you in a row and you get caught in that crap, you're dead. You're, you're just dead. There's, there's nothing, like literally nothing you can do about it. And that's just archaic, crappy game design. I am old. Don't know if I can reach me, don't... Oh! I'll, I'll meet you guys back there in a minute. Hey guys, we're back. This time I took the liberty of killing him off screen because I forgot that I hadn't killed him and he was what killed me. I also lost my train of thought, so I have no idea what I was just talking about. So I'll just talk about this level. Um, this is honestly, by far, in my opinion, the hardest of all four of the elevator shaft defense system things. Like, Jesus H. Criminy! That's why, because there's shock shins, and shock shins are the worst enemy in the goddamn game. I know what you might be thinking there with that, uh... I was thinking it's the same thing. Oh my god, we're almost done the level! We can see the thing! Uh, okay, Sparky. Just get up here. Yeah, there we go, that's what I wanted. I'm gonna pull myself up here. Hopefully we don't encounter any more shock shins. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 singing about Commander King. I love King so much, he gives me a boner. But that's a little weird, he's eight. Shit, I totally missed out on all of that. Oh, oh we got a one up, cool. Not that we needed eight lives, is plenty. Shouldn't say that. I'm jinxing myself. I've missed so much of this level so far, I don't even know where I'm going. I hope I don't come up to a key door here, because I just know I'm going to. Oh no, I went the right way for once. Holy crap. Normally it's the other way around. I didn't... Whoa, 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 wait. Oh, that sucked. Okay, let's try this again. All right. 
Oh, yeah, um, this has been going way better than I thought it would, considering I haven't even played Keen 5 in, like, since I recorded my last video, which is over a year ago now. I think it's over a year. Maybe it's even, like, fucking two years ago. I don't know. Time just flies. Jesus Christ, I had a baby, Leia. My, my daughter, Zoe, she's, um, a year and a half old now, and time is just flown. It's unbelievable. I don't have the time to do anything like this anyway. But now I've got a little bit of free time, and I decided to do something I have a lot of fun with, which is let's playing. Of course, if my wife ever sees these videos, she's probably going to laugh at me and make fun of me and call me a wiener. We're almost done here, so I'm honestly going to throw down a save state, just so I don't really give a shit if you guys see it. Yes, let's play boobies. Motorboating for life. Okay, throw that in there. I thought I'd killed that already, but whatever. Yeah, that's not what we want. And I find the funny part about this being the hardest level is it's the one that's technically the first. As you can see by the evidence by the one spark plug there. Not gonna bother with those items. Not even worth it. We are done this crap. Finally out of this shit. You have no idea how many times I died on those goddamn levels the last time I tried to record them. That's part of the reason that you guys didn't get another video before I lost uh, my crap. As you can see now, now that we've finished that, we've got a new uh, elevator shaft open. So let's let's take a gangle through there. Let's save our game. I'll be right back. Let's keep going here. Um, now this is the level that the secret level's in. I'll try to get it. Sometimes I don't do right. It's not very hard, but uh, I don't remember what those are called. I think they're called spyro grips or something like that. They are unkillable, so that's why I didn't waste a shot on it. They jump up into the air, then spin around and shoot off in a random direction. And they are just terrible, awful shitters. Uh, this level is called the Gravitational Damping Hub. As you can see if you can read. Not hating on you if you can't read. Wait, yes I am. Why are you even on YouTube? Learn to read. I'm imagining my viewer base does not have that many illiterate people in it. Okay. One, two, three... Let's cut under there. Um, ooh, I hate this. I really hate this. I'm gonna throw down a save state here, be right back. I guess they're not really save states, they're more just save games, but whatever. This is the worst. There's no reason that should be a fucking thing in games ever. Saving again. I don't even give a shit. You guys can see this one. We can play some more boobies together. Like, this is the worst. You don't have a chance to move. <sighs> I'm just gonna meet you guys back on the other end when I finally get this. Because this is gonna take a hundred goddamn tries. Be right back. Alright, and we're back. I made it. It took, like, fucking eight tries, like I said. So, be thankful. Oh, this is bad. I don't like that. No, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Okay. No, I thought that opened that. Um, okay, let's give ourselves a drop down here. Oh, okay, it covers that up. Alright, cool. Points out the wazoo from all these pixie sticks. All these pixie dicks. Nothing I love more than chugging pixie dicks. Uh, I do not remember what those are called. I think they're called spearfuls? Maybe? Pulling all these names out of my ass, by the way. Could be right, could be wrong, I don't really give a crap. Alright. Hmm. Alright, let's see if we can get past this motherfucker without messing it up too bad. I think they just fly around, are indestructible, and are generally crap heads. Fucking shitters. Right. So this time, we gotta be really careful. Gotta make sure that that's not under us. Drop down here, grab the green key, and then let's keep going. Nothing down there we're grabbing. Let's take another shot up here. Oh, I guess we were just supposed to backtrack after this. That's that's fine. Okay. Spherical. I think they home in on you a little bit at the very least, and then just kind of bounce around. Alright. As you can see, I'm obviously very scared of them. Okay. Jesus crap, that was close. Um Okay. Doing pretty good so far, actually. Gonna throw down a save. 
because I don't think I'll need it. I hope I don't need it, but it's there in case I do need it. <clears throat> oh, it's going to be good to finally get this game done. Oh, there's so many Let's Plays I started that I have not finished. I just have such completion issues. And I'm thinking with Aria of Sorrow, just just to really finish it and strike it on home. I'm going to play up Blizzard Man again, and then I'm just going to beat the game as per normal. Oh, wait, that's not the right way. What am I doing? Okay. After you do that, you're going to want to go back up here. And you're going to want to make your way back to the top. As you have opened up new things that make this level actually finishable! Hurrah! Uh, and we also don't have to go through that horrible, horrible load of crap that is those fucking go flats with the damn thing. Hmm, let's see. 17 shots or 3? Let's go with 3. Pop her down there. Here we go. And now, um, I'm going to save here because I could just finish the level which was a lot easier than I remember it being. But here's how you find the secret level in this game. Drop down here, fall down here, and this pops you right down to the bottom or something, and you have to go through a slightly... I don't know, I wouldn't really call this hard. A little bit challenging, maybe? Nah. Even that's kind of pushing it IMO. But... Fuck that volt face right in his mouth. Okay. This can get a little tricky, especially when you're me... Oh, the skills! The skills are more than sufficient to pay the bills. And here we go. This, let's, uh, I'm going to throw a save down here. I'm actually going to beat the game. Eleven. Um. Oh, fuck. I saved over my other game. Um. Oh, okay. Um, I'll be right back. I'm going to replay the whole goddamn level and get up to the boss. Or not the boss, but the last level. I'm actually going to beat the last level and then play the secret level. I'll probably release that as a separate video. Because um, I'm going to do the whole secret level, and this is probably already stretched for time as it is. I know most people don't have enough time to... Oh, my God, my water heater! Thank you! This is lovely. Relocating, hopefully... That doesn't come through too loud on the recording. Sitting right fucking next to it, and of course it pops on right at the worst possible time. Turn up the volume a little bit. Alright, I'll meet you guys back here. Um, I'm back here, back at the end of the level. Be right back. Alright guys, we're back at the end of the level. Let's, uh, let's finish this friggin' game. And then I'll uh, throw the secret level on a separate video. Probably. All right, here we go. We're at the penultimate part of the Omega-Matic. This is the Quantum Explosion Dynamo. And we're going to explode into it, apparently. Thank you for the puns, Keen. Oh, God. Okay. Let's see here. Um. Shit. All right, anyway, fuck it. I left the jump sheet on. Now you guys know I used the jump sheet. Oh my god. What the fuck? Okay, what we gotta do in order to get through this, you can shoot up through those platforms, but... Ah, I hate this level. I mean, I love it because... It's Chromander Cream, but holy crap is it tough. Like... In Commander Keen 4, they kind of had to keep a kind of a general difficulty throughout the entire game, just because, well, you can pretty much choose your own path in that game, right? However, with this, there is definitely, like, all of the levels prior to this kind of keep the same difficulty level. However, this just is, like, a, a complete kick in the crotch in comparison to the rest of the game, in my humble opinion. But yeah, you come around down this side, if you're not ballsy like me, and then we can go to town on these shock shins, this fucking pile of shock shins. There are so many of these on hard, it's retarded. Back when I was a kid, I never used to take that long branching path. I always used to just kind of gung-ho, balls deep into them and try and drop down. <coughs> but that's just not smart. As you can see, we actually need to get down here. 
hopefully this doesn't kill me, and I don't be really pissed if it did. Alright, then what we're gonna do is jump back over here and actually throw- oh. Oh, I actually moved that! That's weird! Cool! I found a bug! Never seen that before. Cool. Alright, now this is a new thing. Uh, I think they've had this in every single game ever, but, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna flash up a few screenshots or something like that, maybe. Maybe. If I'm not too lazy. Anyway, let's keep going here. See if we can't make it over this without dying like bitches. Okay, good. Didn't die like bitches at all. And you can actually drop through that and try and get the... What the hell camera angle? Thank you. Anyway. So we're doing pretty good so far. We've got two keys. And... Yeah, um, as you can see, this is going to be based on Chikati, so what you're going to want to do is get on one of these poles that doesn't have anything connecting it, and just shoot down from it, because they will crowd around that pole. And just take them out like that, and you're grilled to go. Don't even have to worry about them. I used to be really fucking scared of that part, I'm not going to lie. And as you can see, you're going to need... Wait a minute, where is the last key? Oh, come on! Come on, man. I thought I didn't miss one. Where the hell is that last key? Okay, um... <laughs> Sorry, guys. I thought I remembered this level a little bit better than I did. Must be up here. Ugh, oh, come on. Alright, uh, I'll meet you guys up there just a second. Okay guys, I made it up, and this is what I forgot to do, because I'm apparently handicapped. Uh, you run up here, you hit that switch. You ride these up here for... Ah, uh, I'll meet you guys back there. Of course, I'm so friggin' careful on the last level, I make a million save states, and never have to use one, and then... Oh, and that is something horrifying, that is a Shikati Master. That is an unkillable demon that just sends out fucking horrible lightning waves at you and is a monster. Alright, I'm going to save because we have all the keys. And we're almost done this game. This actually took a lot less time than I thought it would. Yeah, you're fucking kidding me. I'm, you're, you're a douche. That's why I saved, see? I might just take the long path and meet you guys back down at the bottom. Which is what I think I'm gonna do. I'll see meet you guys. I'm gonna go down around the right here and just pop down. I'll I'll meet you guys back here in a minute. All right, and we're back. Let's see if we can't finish this stupid level. Now you would not believe how long this took me to figure out when I was a kid. And looking back, it makes me feel a little bit dumb. But at the same time, looking back, it also took me a long time to figure it out a couple of years ago because I am dumb. So if you look at it that way, it's all good. There we use three of our keys, and you're probably wondering, Wait, where'd that red key go, go James? To that I say, you're an idiot, because I already put it up on screen. BR? Okay, now that Chikati Master is a fucking asshole. I'm gonna save. So we're almost done. We're actually right at the end of this game. Thank God. Now, as you can see, the pogo stick just doesn't want to cut it. Let's take a look what's on this side too, just because. Nothing, okay. Now as you can see, the pogo stick, like with the other ones, or unlike with the other ones, doesn't really cut the mustard. This is why you need the red key. It's just a bunch of enemies under lock and key. However, that's what we need. These are what can actually blow up the quantum explosion dynamo. You gotta lure these Shikati mines nice and close to the QED and then get them to detonate. Basically, you want to cut in front and detonate. However, that can be easier said than done because these things are pricks. All right, and then you're just gonna to want to lure it up a little bit. Lure it up and then get it to come over here. Up, up and over, up and over, up and over, and then it's gonna pop in a second here. Come on, explode, explode. You are a Shikati mine, for God's sakes. Explode. Come on. Blow. No, no, that's wrong. That is wrong. And you should feel bad. And there we go. Got it. Yeah. Congratulations. You have completed Goodbye Galaxy. Commander Keen has saved the day once again. But things are still in motion. With, the con with their quantum explosion dynamo in ruins, the Shikati rush to their gateway ship and hightail it back to their own galaxy. 
team rummages through the control room with the QED for clues as to why the Shikadi wanted to blow up the galaxy. He stumbles upon a note written in, sta in the standard galactic alphabet. Um, yeah, I'm not translating that for you guys. I can't. I don't remember how to speak that language at all. Keen takes the note with him to decipher when he gets home, not seeing anything else of interest. And there's the Mortimer McMire helmet. Back at home, after having saved the galaxy, Billy feeds his rain-soaked parents ice cream and gently shakes them back to consciousness. God damn, Keen's dad is fat and ugly. See you Christmas 92 when Commander Keen will return to the battle for the universe. It'll be your biggest, uh, biggest Keen ever. You won't believe your eyes? Thanks for playing. Bam! Oh. Well, uh, apparently there's a bunch of high scores on here that I didn't even beat, so I can't put Let's Play Boobies as my high score. But whatever. Um, as always, thanks, I'm Jimmy Bojangles. Thanks for watching me play, uh, Commander King 5, the Armageddon Machine. Hopefully, it didn't suck too many assholes. And you have a great night. See you later, guys.